With the new game Honkai Star Wars release, there are a lot of new things that we've seen from the game, starting from weakness break, skill points, technique points, effective spell, and more. So on this video, I will be explaining the new mechanics from Honkai Star Wars that some of you might not understand. So the first thing that we knew at the beginning of the game is skill point. And what the skill point do is that every time you use a skill, you're using a one skill point bar on the right bottom screen. If you don't have a skill point, you cannot use character skill. And to recharge it, you need to use normal attack on whatever character you have. And each normal attack gives you one skill point. A extra attack or counter attack does not give any skill point. So who should give skill point then? Well, it's up to the situation. If your team mostly have full HP, you should just focus on normal attack by healer or your shielder. In the other situation where your HP is kinda low, you're gonna let your damage dealer attack with basic attack so your healer can use healing skill. Also, each character will get energy for ult when a character is using normal, skill attack, and also getting hit by enemies. So always check on the amount of skill point and energy that you have to not make a mistake in a battle. The second thing I want to talk about is weakness break. So every enemy have this white bar called toughness, and each enemy have their weak element. So what does break do is that, when you attack enemy with their weak elements, and the white bar on the top of enemy reach 0, the enemy will take more damage, and also getting their turn delayed. There's also a few things that can happen depend on the element, like fire break, give enemy burning, physical break, put enemy on bleed, ice, put enemy on frozen, wind, put wind threat, lightning give shocks, but all of these elements do the same thing in the end, and that is damage over time when they recover from break. But the other two special elements, quantum and imaginary, have a different effect, with quantum breaks make enemy getting entanglement, which delayed enemy turn, and also when they're in break mode and you're attacking it, the damage over time will be increased, so you can expect a crazy damage over time from quantum element like Sealy. While well, Imaginary makes the enemy in prison and making them getting delayed turn and also movement speed reduce. So far only Weld can do this break, but I'm sure there will be more Quantum and Imaginary type character in the future. When you're roaming around, you probably notice this beside your normal attack. These are Technic Points, and it can be really useful in battle because you can use it either to heal your team, put a debuff on enemy, or just buff your team as well to make the fight easier. There's also Technic Point Generator that you can destroy and refill your Technic Points. So make sure to read the character technique on character that you're using as your main team. Like March 7 technique, she can put enemy on Frozen at the beginning of the battle. Our main character can heal the whole team. And Dan Heng can buff his own attack in the battle. So always make sure you use this technique to fight bosses or any tough enemies. There is a weekly thing that you can do in Honkai Star Rail, and that is Simulated Universe. In there, you will be fighting a few rounds of enemy while getting a buff that you can pick to help out the battle. It's the same concept as Elysian Realm from Honkai Impact, where you choose buff and upgrade the buff while fighting a lot of enemies weekly. You can get points when you complete a world, and you can repeat the same world as well until you get the max point per week if you're having a hard time on higher world level. Doing this weekly can give you a few decent rewards like pool tickets, stellar jade, lost gold fragment, credits, and also tracks for destiny for character level up materials. Overall, that's all mechanics you need to know about Honkai Star Rail. Most of us probably already know few stuff like effect dispel where it can remove debuff on allies, light cone is a weapon for characters while relic are artifacts. Oh, Daniel! seen this guy in a while! Some stuff like Space Anchor is a statue of the Seven and also a teleport place, Calyx is Leyland for character XP, Lane for SP, and credits. An assignment is Expedition, but it can also give materials. Of course I'm gonna grab your 
lastly, forgotten faults is Splurgis and Genshin. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like the video and also subscribe to the channel. And I see you on the next video.